Hello, welcome to this video where we're going to look at the method we can use to upgrade our website so it uses the new version of PHP, PHP 7. Testing by WordPress and by others has shown dramatic improvements in performance using the power of PHP 7 and therefore unless you have a particular very old plugin that can't support it, it is recommended that you upgrade as soon as possible. Now most hosting providers will be able to provide support for the later versions of PHP and usually that happens through their cPanel where they will have multiple versions of PHP available to you. Now this installation is SiteGround but most cPanels are the same. You want to scroll down until you find a section on software and then within that you should see an icon PHP version manager. Now in this particular installation I have multiple websites hosted and they're each in their own folders. Now I can just apply to a particular folder, so if I just want to bring the WP Business Club up to PHP 7 standard, I can do so. You can see here that SiteGround tell us that system default for them is version 5.6. And we go from 5.6 direct to 7. So if I choose 7.1 and save, that website is now running on version 7. And of course the first thing I should do now is to go to the website and make sure that that is true. So here we are in my website and I have a set of warnings here appearing across the screen. Warning parameter and therefore there is an incompatibility in my version of WordPress. That doesn't mean WordPress itself, that probably means the plugins. So if I go back into my control panel and I choose the same folder, go back to version 5.6 and save and then come back and refresh my page you will see the errors go. So that's just to show you that if you do upgrade and there's a problem it is very easy to undo it again so don't panic. If you do find problems like that then you want to have a word with your hosting provider, check your plugins this is a case of where you need to test your plugins and see which ones are causing the problem. You may also want to consider just taking a different version of PHP and just go straight to version 7 and not 7.1 to see if that, ha if that fixes it. Which in this case it does. So I have incompatibility in one of my plugins with the very latest version of 7.1 but I can actually use version 7 which will give me performance improvements and time now for me to check what plugin is not working correctly. So please subscribe and thank you very much for your time. For more info visit wpbusinessclub.com